There goes another DH gate pickup. These are the easy um, V2 Zebras. You can see these have that triangle shape it's supposed to have. I think the toe cap's supposed to be a little more milky than that. So we'll just go with some of the flaws I see, or I think that are here. The Right here, this should be a lot straighter. It shouldn't have this dip in the middle here. And I think the letters and numbers here are supposed to be bolder. A little bigger and bolder. The back um, pull tab here. This is too wide. It should be about right here. Yeah, about right there. Somewhere around here. The pull tab itself is too straight. It's supposed to be slanted. Uh, it's supposed to have an upward slant here. And on the back, it's supposed to be discolored in this area here. Like one little piece. But I wouldn't worry about that too much. The This whole outsole is going to turn yellow eventually. So here's a look at the boost. There's a clear shot of it. It's got four on the top, three on the bottom. With those little circular parts with the lines there. The outsole has a little bit of a yellow tint to it. It's not too much, not too much yet at least, but after you start wearing them, they'll turn yellow. Here's a look at the design on the front. The prime knit material is pretty thick, it's not thin. And uh, this shoe is about the same quality as those Jeff Yeezys I picked up. The materials feel exactly the same, there's no difference in them. I think this one's a little little bit better it's got that whole cage on the inside it's got like almost feels like a light plastic leathery plastic material it's got it all the way down to the front you can see all of all the way in there I don't know if I can get a good shot at the of the tag I can try Let's see that's about the best it'll get. Is the the easy? Let me get the insole out of there. So here's a look at the insole. It's pretty thin, basic insole, and it doesn't come all the way to the top here, which is usually what happens with the with the bigger sizes. There's a look at the Adidas. So here's the little tag it came with. And these things have a lot of padding on the inside. Here's the three stripes. You can see they're not that spaced out. They're pretty close together. There's a look at the inside. You can see through. It's got the boost material all the way to the front. So here's the other shoe. They're pretty nice. It's just one thing I will tell you with the seller is if you buy from them, please pay for the faster shipping. Otherwise, you're going to be waiting a long time. It took almost two months to get here from the time I bought them until now. I bought them uh, like the first couple of days of March, I think around the second or third. And they just got here and it's already going to be May. So, just keep that in mind. If you buy from the Sutter, he, he does have legit shoes. It's just, he takes a really long time to ship. So, just go with DHL, pay that extra money, and get them quicker. Because it takes a real long time. I had already forgot that I ordered these. That's how long it took. So, here's a look at the box. The label's a little different from the Jeff Yeezys I bought. This is a lot smaller. The font's a little bit different, not by much. Here's what it came with. They came with the, the keychain, the socks, and the receipt. I trimmed that receipt down. It was a little longer. I cut it right there so it'll fit perfect in the box. The box itself is pretty good. It's just the letters and numbers are a little light. They're supposed to be darker. The box is a little cheaper than the Jeff Yeezys I got. You can see it's real thin. It's not as thick as the other box. Other than, other than that, I'm pretty satisfied with them. 
got them at a low price so here's one last look at them and I'll catch you on the next video